America. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is, I can't believe I just said that. That is so insane to me. I am freaking out, but I am so excited for this adventure that is about to happen. If you didn't know, we are actually hiking Mount Kilimanjaro, and I've never done anything like this before, so this is definitely gonna be an adventure of a lifetime. Last night, we arrived at our hotel, which is called the Kibo Palace in Arusha. We're staying in the city of Arusha in Tanzania, and I love the hotel room. It is so cute, and I looked out the window this morning and we have an amazing view. I didn't I wasn't able to see this last night because it was dark But look we got like a little poolside view and we get to see all the palm trees and all the Plants, it's just so green here and so beautiful So today's agenda is that we are gonna go to the marketplace do some just sightseeing things some touring things Maybe buy a souvenir or two then we have our packing Briefing session where they're gonna come in and look at everything to see if we are all packed and ready to go for our mountain adventure and then basically go through the itinerary and make sure we're all on the same page. So that being said, we are hiking Kilimanjaro with the company Kili Warrior Expeditions and I just wanna thank them so much for this opportunity. I was so excited when they reached out about this trip and so far it has been amazing and it just it's only gonna go up from here. So if you guys wanna learn more about them, if you've ever been interested in doing this yourself, I'll link their website in the description box below. But let's go meet up with our family family for some breakfast. Breakfast of champions right oh, here. Hello. So good, actually, it tastes so yummy. It does, everyone is so nice. We were sitting outdoors by the pool this morning. Yeah, the staff, the staff is amazing. Everyone has been so, so kind they and good. They have been, yeah. Big smiles, it looks so happy. It's <laughs> so like the States. They're amazing. Yeah, the service here has been 10 out of 10. Yeah. I'm excited to try our first meal in Africa. Something new, this is a treat. Tomato. Try it. Try it. It's really sweet. Really? Oh, really? It's a fruit. Oh, that's cool. That's good. Preparing for gear check. And we just laid out our gear. We have our clothes. We have other just random stuff. Hiking shoes, hiking backpack, which is full of my snacks. And if you want to see like a full list of things that we brought for this trip, I actually made a packing video all about this for me. Shopping for everything, packing it up, and just what I'm bringing in general. So I'll have that video linked. You should go check it out. Um, but yeah, they're going to come up here in a couple of hours, check everything. I think they're also providing some gear like sleeping bags, hiking poles, um, and we're gonna see if we need to get yak tracks, which are like spikes for the bottom of our boots. Depends on how icy, snowy it is up there. But I'm excited, we're gonna go explore the town now. Yep. Oh. We're at the Cultural Heritage Center and it is so cool. We just looked at the Tanzanite, which is only found here. Um, so I'll insert that clip. Right, that's the only place in the world where you can find it. But the color of it is actually very interesting because, like this. because when you move wow. the stone around, you really see the three colors. Yeah. Right. So when you move it, you see the blue, the purple, and like a reddish pink. Yeah, that's pretty. So we're just gonna look around. They have like a little art gallery section. They have lots of different like souvenir things. And it's been amazing. There's like so much to look at here. Everything is so beautiful. You know, we could literally spend just all day looking at this really stuff. We really could. They're, I like love all the colors. It's so fun. Yeah, everything's so vibrant. It's like so people fun. wear vibrant colors. <laughs> Get this for our mountain trek. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. It actually, is like so helpful. It would be helpful though. That band was a bop though, honestly. I feel like it's like living in my head rent free. I love it. All right, we just finished with our debriefing and packing run through, and I think we're ready to go tomorrow, which is insane. We got this map of Kilimanjaro, and it outlines our route that we're gonna be taking, which is the Lamosho route, and this is what it looks like. Ta-da! So, tomorrow, we're gonna start here, and we go to the forest camp, right? Yeah. Forest camp. Yeah. I think day 
two. Yeah. And anyways, we follow this route all the way up to the peak and then we make our way down. But this like outlines all the different biomes we're gonna go through. So we're gonna start cultivation, forest, heather, moorland, alpine, summit, and then back down. And this side has like the steepness, more facts. And this has honestly been really helpful. Now we kind of know a little step by step what it's gonna be like. We also got our duffel bags today. And oh man, mine is packed to the brim. I brought so many snacks. <laughs> But yeah, the porters are gonna carry this, which I am so grateful for them, honestly, because I could not. So very, very grateful for the porters. I just packed up my hiking backpack. And then one of the things we bought from the market today was <laughs> matching Pole Pole shirts. <laughs> All four of us. So we're gonna rep these tomorrow. It'll be our beginning of our little hike. Not a little hike, big hike. <laughs> It'll be the beginning of our hike shirts because it'll set the the mood um, but yeah just finished packing everything up i think we're ready <sighs> that's so crazy so i guess i'll see you tomorrow for our first official day of hiking mount kilimanjaro let's do it here we go <laughs> We have officially arrived and are starting day one of the trail. I am so excited. We just ate lunch together as a group. Dad, are you ready for this? I am so ready. We all are repping right. our Pole Pole shirts. We have matching ones. Which means slow. 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 Take it slow. Take it slow. This isn't a race. <laughs> So starting the trail, this is beautiful by the way. We're gonna go through the rainforest today. We're gonna go through so many different biomes during the whole trip. So it'll be fun to see how it changes over time. Right now I'm feeling pretty excited. I'm making sure that I'm drinking lots of water to stay hydrated. That way I don't get sick. And so far no regrets. The only regret I have though is not bringing normal chapstick because I brought SPF chapstick and it dries my lips out so if you're doing this bring normal chapstick <laughs> that's all i have to say but anyways i really hope we see monkeys today there's a possibility that we might first steps up the mountain 99 bottles of beer on the wall <laughs> oh my <laughs> and so the adventure begins <laughs> this has been so fun. I know we just barely started. We haven't been on this trail for like 10 minutes, but it's been so fun. <laughs> Ooh, muddy. It just rained during lunch, so rainforest is a little muddy, but it is amazing to see how green everything is. Because you come from a pretty dry, red rock state. So to have like the humidity and the green, it's been really cool to see. Yeah, it has been. Wow, that's so impressive. I don't know how they do that. He's the There's a black and white calabus up ahead. Yeah. The branches are moving. <gasps> oh my goodness. Yeah, he's like hiding in the branches. So, I don't know if you can see. The trees are moving. Oh, Spencer, look. You see him? He's right there. Whoa. Whoa, that's so cool. So fluffy. Oh, that's wow. A good one. Thank you. <laughs> wow, it's so uh, pretty. That is amazing. Oh, your body. Wow, so majestic. <laughs> you could jump seven meters. You've got an audience watching this. And we're all watching them. Hi, buddy. Yeah, they're everywhere. They're surrounding us. They're on both oh, yeah. sides. This is chilling up there. Hello. Hi. Just a wee bit muddy. My whole foot sunk underneath. <laughs> Oh man, this is the technical part, I guess. <laughs> Just playing in the mud. Thank goodness for waterproof boots. We're definitely gonna be putting these babies through their pieces. Yeah. On this trip. Yeah. Woohoo, pole pole! Lots of water. <laughs> he blends in with the tree. Yeah, he's he's so moving. cute. Yeah, he's just just chilling. Just chilling. Animal number two. I feel like we're on a little safari. 
on our hiking. Starting to sink in the fact that this is, you know, easy day. <laughs> yeah. So the fact that we are chaining like all day hiking for like the next week and a couple days. Oh boy. We are doing our last push to camp. We are so close and we're gonna eat some dinner. But today I think we hiked for about two to three hours and four miles. And so far, pretty good. I love the rainforest jungle vibe. It's been so fun and I can't wait to see all the different biomes. Jordan, oh my goodness, you need to watch Jordan's vlog. <laughs> Something crazy happened to her with a monkey and I won't say anything <laughs> further because you should definitely watch it. But it's so funny, I can't believe I got it on camera. She got it all on camera too. I actually can't believe that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, lots of um, fun, unexpected things have happened that have kept it entertaining for sure. We're almost at camp. Woo -woo. I see the sign. Wow. Our first campsite. Wow. So grateful for the porters who set these up for us. Hey, that's a lot of work. Hauling it and setting it up. Day one. <laughs> wow. All right, this is our new home for the next nine days. Our living quarters. I guess I will get to this side. This is a pretty good tent space though. Whoa, the lighting in here. So this was so nice. They set up the tent for us. They're gonna cook for us. I can't imagine doing that like after hiking all day. I'm so grateful for the porters. And they carried like all of our duffels and it's just been, they've just been amazing. They've been so great. So I think we're gonna get ready for dinner now. Yeah. Washing up before feels dinner. Feels does that good. feel good? Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, it is very hot. Later, if you come in our milk tent, we can off our Okay. Ooh, snacks. I love popcorn. To my humble abode. <laughs> this is called the mess tent. So we're gonna have dinner snacks. I guess since I'm the first one in, I'll squeeze, the chief. I'll squeeze all the way in the back. Wow, I'm so glad they have popcorn. Oh man. <laughs> wow, it's so Somebody cozy. It's, uh, it's movie night, I thought. So. Movie night. <laughs> Candlelit dinner. <laughs> I'm excited. I don't, it's a surprise dinner. Yeah. We don't know what we're having. It's gonna be. I think so now, dinner time, yeah? Dinner. Yeah. We have a soup here and bread for soup. But oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. the soup Woo! today you have a fresh pumpkin. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pumpkin. Pumpkin soup. Amazing. And bread for soup. Thank you. Yum. Pumpkin right. soup. Taste test. Bon appetit. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Delicious. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So this ended up being a three-course meal, actually. I had no idea. It's so fancy. So we got chicken, coconut rice, green beans, uh, fruit salad. And they were so nice to accommodate for my peanut allergy, so I have my own piece, but oh, it's yum. not in peanut sauce. It looks delicious. Wow. I'm so excited. Also, it's raining, so you can probably hear the rain. <laughs> All right, we are getting that's just like the health check so it's checking your heart rate and your oxygen levels yeah to make sure that it's safe for you to be climbing yep fire head guy Hosea <laughs> he's making sure we stay safe and healthy he's so awesome. and have a good trip yeah so we're each taking turns okay. checking our heart rates <laughs> <laughs> Why did you tell me there's a needle? <laughs> Dude, it's a high number. <laughs> no, it's not bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> the oxygen level is 9.4 and high rate is 9.7. 9.7? Dang! Yeah. 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 Am I scared? He says, yeah. We'll check in tomorrow. Okay, let me try mine. Yeah, I wonder if I'm going to be different than you. Okay, let's see what mine is. Dad's was, what was yours? 96. 96. What was mine? 96? Or 94? So, so far, dad has the lowest. Or dad has the best score, I he guess. He has the best score. <laughs> oh, he's it's got a high done. heart rate, too. It's not done yet. <laughs> I gotta start reading calm slow. Down, calm down, calm <laughs> down, relax. <laughs> There's no needle. <laughs> There's no needle. <laughs> that's what spikes my heart rate. Why is my heart rate so high? <laughs> I don't know, that's how I was when I was like, I'm not actually scared. <laughs> I'm chilling. You're young. Your oxygen level is 9.5 huh. 
and heart rate is 103. Wow, it's like I'm working out, but I'm just sitting here. <laughs> that's crazy. What? You're digesting all that food. Uh, yeah, it must be. Get your heart rate going. All right, we are getting settled in for the night. How was day one for you? The hike was harder than I thought it would be. Really? So that doesn't bode well. Oh no, I thought it was pretty good, uh, they like, said. It was harder than I thought it would be, but it wasn't like, Hard. Yeah, like, it wasn't steep at all. It's still stuff we've done before. I was just, when they tell us that, like, oh, day one's really easy, and then day two's <laughs> a little was more like a rough, walk. like, now I'm like, oh man, day two's probably gonna be rougher than I thought it was gonna be. Well, today we hiked 2,000 feet in elevation, and it didn't even feel like that. I felt like it was yeah. mostly flat, for the most part. I didn't feel like we gained that much, because every time we went up a hill, we came right back down the hill on the other side. Yeah, but poly poly really did come in clutch. Oh, yeah. So, and then dinner was delicious. Was I was not so expecting a three course meal, and apparently that's how it's gonna be every day. Stay hungry for dinner. Yeah. Like, like props to the chef. Real. It is weird being treated so well. It's so, day crazy. one, definitely a success. We are so spoiled. I'm excited to see what tomorrow brings. Yeah. Um, I think we are gonna fall asleep so fast, though. Oh, for sure. When we were in the mess <laughs> tent waiting for dinner, I fell asleep. In my he, chair, he really did. Like to the he point like, that like my <laughs> mouth hung open. I was like, we were all staring at and you. Then I like kind of came to and heard someone like say like, oh, he's out. And then I woke up and everybody was just like, because I was at the head of the table too, so it was just like the right side and the left side. Everybody just like staring at me, and I was like, uh. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we're gonna get really good sleep tonight. Apparently, we're gonna be woken up by blue monkeys, like their howls. Oh. So that's. That's our natural alarm clock at 6 30 in the morning which 6 30 seems really early but we've get been getting up that early just because like we're still trying to adjust the local time here so to us 6 30 is not really that early but i hope we stay warm we got our layers on early, early here like at 6 30 it'll be bright outside so yeah yay good night everyone we'll see you for day two i just got up for my first bathroom break i'm also whispering because it's 10 30 at night and everyone is asleep but the medicine i'm taking for altitude sickness makes you need to pee a lot that's one of the side effects so i just had my first one first bathroom break hopefully the last one but the sky is beautiful at night like the constellations pop and i could also hear the monkeys <laughs> so that was crazy but i'm gonna try going back to bed okay it's about 2 a.m i'm looking real real but I have to use the bathroom for the second time, so I'm gonna show you what that looks like and it's gonna be really quiet because I'm trying not to wake everyone up. So let's go. Okay, so this is what the bathroom looks like. They named it Oscar. So this is the toilet. You do your business. You pump this, like this, to fill it with water, and then you pull this lever to let everything drop down. Thank goodness for toilet paper. Okay, that's to be really bad. Alright, let's head back to the tent. I'm gonna show you the sky. Hopefully you can see it. And if you listen really close, you can hear the monkeys. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the sky, but it is so bright. I'm praying that's the last time. I have to get up in the middle of the night tonight, <laughs> but again, it's only like 1.30. Also, I'm looking so rough. <laughs> I feel like as the days progress, I'm just gonna be looking crazier and crazier. Oh, but I gotta go put hand sanitizer on, and then I'm gonna go back in bed. So I'll see you tomorrow morning, hopefully. <laughs> Guess who has to pee now? <laughs> can't even look at the camera. This light is extremely bright. Spencer has to go, and I haven't gone to bed since the last time I updated you guys. It's now 3 a.m which means I've been up for like an hour and a half. We've just been talking and listening to the sound of monkeys go whack. That's so great. It looks so cute. Getting up to use the bathroom right now is like inconvenient, like it's never fun, but it's not the worst because it's not freezing cold, but I have a feeling I'm not gonna wanna get up when it starts freezing and I'm nice and toasty in my sleeping bag. I'm not looking forward to that.
you to jump. Oh, yeah. Action shot. <laughs> that was cool. Nice, buddy. Action shot. That was so cool. Play him to the camera. Yeah. First monkey of the day. <laughs> oh, there's another one. They're everywhere. Is that what yeah. we were hearing last <laughs> I think yeah, so. Because so, they sounded like they were right next to us. Are these the blue monkeys? Yeah, the blue, blue monkeys. monkeys. <laughs> Akuna matata, 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 Thank you, thank you so much. In our nine days climb, today's our second day. So on behalf of my team, I want to do some short introduction. Total crew, we are 55, plus you, eight, you are going to be 63. Three assistant guides, let's start with Insaji. I'm here. The father, woo -ha, woo -ha. <laughs> And then you have two chefs, Mama Juma, Woo! and then Mama Adam. Uh, and then you have three camp manager. Let's start with Adam. No, sorry. Let's start with, with the Swahiru, Swahilongo, Said. And then we have Paulina. Yay! Kanini. Jumbo, jumbo. Yeah. And then Alphan. <laughs> we have uh, two people who are dealing with the toilet. We, we call toilet crew. The first one is Boaz. Jumbo. Yeah. jumbo. And the rest. Jumbo, jumbo. Yeah. And then also we have two dishwashers, Duma and Bombo. Yeah. Also we have a uh, potter cook, two potter cook, Emmanuel. I'm Brandon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys as well. Appreciate it. Ryan from Colorado. <laughs> the other Ryan from Colorado. <laughs> Alberto from New York. New York. Audrey from Utah. Utah. Yes. Spencer from Utah. Sanjay <laughs> Swano. Yeah, so guys, we are really very thank you so much for choosing our. Kili Waters company, especially on this, you know, this is our first climb on this season, so we really appreciate that. Thank you so much, Jose. Thank you, I really appreciate that. Thank you, are amazing. Asante. <laughs> Day two of the hike. I have been ready to go since 1.30, you guys. I never went back to bed. I couldn't fall asleep. I was so excited. I just want to start. Jumbo! Jumbo! Jumbo. Jumbo. That's your bag. <laughs> it's duffel bag right there. So He's carrying. Today we are leaving the rainforest and we're entering moorland. So we're only gonna be in the rainforest for a little bit more. And then a whole new biome awaits us. So be cool to see what that's like because I don't know if I've ever experienced a moorland before. But what's so crazy is this scenery already looks so different from yesterday. Like yesterday was mega tropical, it reminded me of Hawaii. And now the trees Remind me kind of a Florida. There's like so much moss. Oh yeah, there's a lot and of moss. And it's like way more of a muted green versus like the bright, vibrant colors of flowers and stuff. Like it's the in between. Yeah, like I, we're about to change biomes. <laughs> it's I feel like so I'm in fun. Minecraft every time I say that. Yeah, the biome. Like your favorite word today. The, the word of the day is biome. Biome. Yeah. What's the biome of the day? <laughs> this has been such a fun, cool trip. And we got to see them do their performance today for us. And they said they're gonna teach us the songs and 
dances. So I'm so excited because that was so fun to watch. It was awesome. Yeah, it's been really fun. You said that was yeah. rosewood, the yellow tree, the yellow flowers. Rosewood? Oh, with the yellow flowers, yeah. I, I think so. Is that rosewood? Which is apparently really good for guitars. Yeah, it's a tone wood. We're learning all the facts. Really good views. We're getting higher and higher, and you can tell. Hey! Woo -hoo! Yeah. <laughs> Mossy tree. Reminds me of Florida. How are you doing so far? Spencer? Oh, there you are. <laughs> doing great. Doing good? Doing my taco bar. Oh yeah, for <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> Our dessert. Yeah. I ate mine at breakfast. It was good. <laughs> I was like, woo, chocolate. <laughs> oh, this big tree log is also cool. The scenery here, there's like always finding something new. Goodbye, rainforest. All right, the next couple of steps, we're leaving to the next biome, which is actually the heather zone. I got it mixed up with the moorland. <laughs> I think that's half of tomorrow. So we're going to the heather zone, and I'm excited to see what it looks like. I love the rainforest, though. So many little wildlife. It's sad because it's like, there's so many things to look at, like constantly. You see so many It's animals. so interesting. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing. Okay, heather zone. Oh, we're ready for you. They are changing. I'm excited that as we get higher, we'll be able to see more, like down below and all the landscape. I think that'll be really pretty. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like we've hiked that far up, but we really have, actually. As of yet, we still haven't seen Kilimanjaro. We might see it I have it today. a feeling it's gonna just pop out of nowhere and be like, whoa. Yeah, I'll say I said we might see it today before camp. Really? Yeah. Oh man, that's a black ant nest. I didn't know they make it in trees. <laughs> this biome's already looking so different. We took five steps. Yeah. The tree is so like, different. So, so wow. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty up here. It's so pretty. We're starting to get like views, views. down the mountain. Whoa. Wow. That's what we were what just going like? through. <laughs> we're at cloud level, guys. In the misty forest. Actually, misty heather. Heather. <laughs> but in the clouds. Oh. <laughs> oh, and so many rocks. I love it because I love rock it's scrambles. It's so pretty. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> it's so fun. Like, this I'm like, ooh, an obstacle course. <laughs> <laughs> this is the coolest experience. And Killy Warriors, like, has made it phenomenal. Their, yeah. their customer service and just everything, they're, like, so Outdone amazing. <laughs> Deliciousness. Yeah. Alrighty, we're on our way down. We have to make our way back up. And you see, like, this little dip right here, this U between the two mountains. That is where we were subbing for lunch, I'm pretty sure. And we just learned that lunch is a three course meal again with my favorite soup as a starter, which uh, I'm just such a soup girly. Careful for the rock scramble. Yeah, and that's all slippery, so. Good to sure know. You get a hand free. I'm gonna get you coming down. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I gotta get my action shot if I slip. Don't slip. <laughs> <laughs> right. You okay one handed? Yeah! Got him! Not done yet. <laughs> this is so fun! Gives you a little bit of variety. Yeah. On your skills. Gotta keep you on your toes. <laughs> Work on the front and back of your legs. Yeah. This is Africa's national flower. So pretty. We're seeing so many beautiful vegetation. Yeah. Can't wait for yeah. mom to look at this video because she loves plants. Got some like little blue flowers here too. Cute. <laughs> I just want to touch all the plants, but some of them are poisonous, so I probably should not. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a good idea. Usually when I'm hiking, I like to touch things yeah, as I yeah. walk. I'm like, mm. Bringing out the bad boy. My first hiking pole. It's getting a little slippery. <laughs> this thing really helps. I love hiking poles. I've never even had one before, but now I want my own pair for like home. Yeah. I feel like a professional hiker now. I got the full fit. It's all about the pole. It's all, it's the pole. Lunch, here we come. Halfway point. <laughs> Woo, woo, woo. In a cloud. I don't think it's see, but it's like in a cloud. Oh, it's misty. misty. Yeah. It feels amazing. Oh, wow. Good job, everybody. Good job. Of course, one of three chicken soup. You want to do a taste test with me, Dad? Also, ketchup is chewy flavor. <laughs> Never tried that before. Okay, let's try our soup. Oh. Delicious. It's good. 
<laughs> is it better than the pumpkin? The pumpkin is really mm. nice. Mm. It's there with it. It's at least as good. Yeah, that's good. Oh, it tastes like the chicken noodle soup without the noodles. Yeah. Like, oh, it's so yummy. Yeah. It's so good. I'm gonna miss the soups here when I go home. Like, I need a mama ju Wait, mama, what was it? What was his name? I forget too. I just remember Mama. Mama. Just leave it Mama. Because <laughs> now I can't remember. Just, just, just say Mama, Mama Jay. The poncho yeah. thing is so is nice. It so I just took it out, unbuttoned the sides, covered like all of our packs. Nice. That was so nice. I'm gonna miss Mama soup when I go home. That's now we can only think of Mama Juju. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, main course, noodles with vegetables and meat, guacamole, delicioso. And there's soup as well, and there's fruit too. Look at this fruit platter. You have to see this. I love their fresh fruit. fruit. It's always so good. You think it's full? Oh yeah. You gonna be able to walk another four miles? I'm gonna be waddling. <laughs> we only need to go about two and a half. We got it. All right, we finished lunch. We're headed back, or well, we're headed to our new campsite. And it's funny because every time I go hiking and, and drink water, I get the hiccups, <laughs> like nonstop. I've gotten them like four times today. And some, <laughs> sometimes it's me not even drinking water, it's just hiking. Audrey gets the hiccups from drinking water. And I have to pee every 10 minutes. She literally just peed five minutes ago. She has to go again. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> but hey, staying hydrated, hydrate queen. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> hydrated hiccup queens. <laughs> <laughs> we are officially in rain territory. It's been raining for the past probably hour. We have one hour left. And I am so grateful for these ponchos right now. <laughs> like honestly, lifesaver. One of the top like most useful things for this trip. I think after I'm done um, hiking Mount Kilimanjaro, I'm gonna make a TikTok on like what I use the most and what I use the least. Um, just for me personally, so you can guys can tell like like what are the most essential things to pack. But yeah, a little rainy, <laughs> but the rain is slowing down. It was pouring pretty hard earlier. It's slowing down though, so that's that's good. It's been fun. It's been fun trying to traverse it. Lots of lots of rocks <laughs> and mist glory. We just made it to oh. Shira Shira Camp. Shira, Shira one, one Camp. Camp. Look I'm tired. The tent. It's very different from our first. Oh yeah. Campsite. So we got like tents over there. Kind of looks like there's a couple like outhouses kind of thing. Things. Don't know that I trust them, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is what the Heather Zone campsite looks like. And got a sign in over here. We have our official marker of Shira Camp. I'm excited to rest up, spend the night here, and prepare for tomorrow. Hello! Day two we in the made box. it! Yes! Day two in the box! Yeah. <laughs> yes. Just so you know, Audrey. Elevation 3610 meters. 3610. Yeah. I don't know why it said like that. <laughs> but Jason's up. Oh, Moreland. Oh. Okay. That's what we have left to do, guys. We yeah. got this. Audrey, Jordan, and I beat you. Sorry. Oh. Wait, I touched the sign. Oh. All right. I am going to try to take a nap. I honestly wasn't even sleepy, which is surprising since I didn't get much sleep last night. But I am feeling a little tired and I want to try to fit in some sleep before dinner. So it started raining again, which honestly I'm happy about because rain is very calming and puts me to sleep. So I am just going to be here for a while, just getting some rest and then I'm gonna go join everyone at dinner and hopefully I'll be able to sleep after dinner too and I hope that this nap is not gonna replace sleep tonight because that will be so rough we'll see crossing my fingers all right it's officially nighttime and I was able to take a nap which was heavenly felt so good and I still feel like I'll be able to sleep tonight so thank goodness for that I took my diamox which is the altitude sickness pill that's been making you need to pee every like two or three hours earlier today so i'm crossing my fingers that it doesn't keep me up as much tonight but we just had dinner it's delicious as always um tomorrow we're waking up at the same time as yesterday which is 6 30 and we're gonna start a hike that's even longer than today but more flat so that'll be good i could do flat i could do flat how are you doing spencer how are you feeling uh, i'm tired i'm tired so. me too i think i'm gonna get good night's sleep tonight same for sure so. 
drying out my hat because it got a little wet. But besides that, I've stayed really dried with my frog talk <laughs> and all is well over here. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Hopefully, hopefully not in the middle of the night. Guys, I need to be it for the second time tonight, but I'm too scared to get up because there's wild dogs. They call them bush dogs here. And I don't think they're friendly. They travel in packs and I I just woke up to one of them barking and it's not like they're in our camp. <laughs> oh no. Spencer. Yeah, that's so bright. <laughs> what am I gonna do? I don't wanna sacrifice my water bottle as a pee bottle. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, I think we're gonna brave it <laughs> because I can't hold my bladder. Spencer. It's nice enough, he says he's gonna come with me. Earlier in this trip, I saw like a beautiful painting of one of the bush dogs and I asked them, I was like, oh, what, what kind of animal is this? Is this like a normal dog, a hyena? And they're like, oh no, bush dogs. They travel in packs and then they like tear apart their prey and I was like, oh, nice. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I slept so much better last night than the previous night, so that's good. But dad just came to our tent and said, right now you can see the sun rising over Mount Kilimanjaro, which we have not seen the mountain fully yet this whole time. So of course I need to go see it. So let's go. <gasps> Wait, is that it? I don't know if that's it or not, but I think it is. That's beautiful. That was all blocked by clouds yesterday. That's what we're gonna be on top of. Seven more days to go. Breakfast of champions. We're about ready to eat. I'm ready. And we've got our fruit drink today. I got tropical mix. And if you watch my live streams, everyone, this is made of the highest quality. That's for you. <laughs> it's our inside joke. <laughs> we've got an assortment of food or fruit and my favorite is the mango it's so yum over here we got drink mixes granola and today we're having porridge first day of porridge we'll see how it is or, <laughs> and granola I've i brought some granola. granola breakfast well it's because the texture is what gets me but everything here has been so yummy recently maybe i'll like it i don't know I maybe mean, we won't even eat it for just a little bit yeah that way if not you can have this all right let's eat up okay we also got yeah, some good. toast and it looks like a little omelet. egg omelet. Let's try it. Try the omelet first. It looks really good. Mmm, that was really good. <laughs> I love eggs for breakfast because they fill me up. And we're gonna need that for today. All right, oats, oh, hot. Hot. <laughs> hot. <laughs> okay. Yummy. Good breakfast. Props to the chef. Day three, we just started our hike. <laughs> Still on the campground, we're walking out of the campground and we got our full fit ready. It feels so great today because it's sunny outside. <laughs> and like I showed you this morning, you can see the top of Kili from here. It's kind of hidden by clouds right now. That's where we're going. <sighs> Spencer's like outfit is so funny. <laughs> He's got full ski glasses to like go over his chunky frames for his regular glasses. <laughs> the only thing that worked. I feel like a spy in these glasses. They're yeah. like wrap around black. <laughs> it's so funny. But yeah, the sun feels good. I'm just praying I don't get sunburned, but lots of sunscreen on. And I made sure I had no part in my hair because being sunburned does not feel good. But yeah, today's seven miles. We're gonna end at like 13,000 feet in elevation. Yeah, I think so. So our new record. Yep. <laughs> we'll see. Um, and our new biome is the moorland, which less and less vegetation. Probably gonna get colder. Yeah. They said around lunch it's gonna get cold that we're gonna have to put on more layers. But right now, right now it feels cool. great. I'll take the warm over the rain any day though. Yes. Yeah. Walk the plank, let's see who falls in. Oh. <laughs> let's see how good your balance is. Oh, Ben's. Should I risk taking the GoPro across? Yeah! <laughs> Still impresses me, even on day three, how they can carry so much and have so much balance. <laughs> we found a lizard! Oh, maybe you could pick him up. <laughs> there he is. 
First animal of the day. <laughs> the sun is gone. It feels pretty good, but um, you can see the clouds rolling in like it's gonna rain again, which we did all bring our waterproof gear in our day pack, so we should be fine, but I don't really want another day of just pouring rain. <laughs> oh, but that might happen. It might happen, because we've got a couple more hours to go. We've only just begun. We've only just begun. We have more than a couple. A lot more hours to go. But it is really cool seeing the mist, like just kind of blow over the land. I just don't want to be caught in it. <laughs> And all these rocks remind me of Frozen, all the like, little rock trolls. <laughs> There's like moss on it. It's really cool. River crossing part two, here we come. How you doing? Pretty he took good. off his ski goggles. Yeah, it got dark. <laughs> he was like, what time is it, nighttime? <laughs> He's got a tint on his sunglasses. All right, here we go. Let's cross this, take a little swim. So pretty. We're still in the heather zone, but we'll make it to more land by camp. Uh, uh, thank you. Good job. <laughs> you can spot dry miles away with her neon gators. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah we made it. Back. It's no. probably so cold. Coming across a big rock. That's so cool. You can climb it? Go yeah, let's do it. Woo! Mom, this is for you. This is wild carrot right here. That's what it looks like. I mean, you probably know that, but I don't know if you've ever let it grown this big or this it does. Was, I've never seen a wild carrot like this. Well, it's like thick. To get really hungry and get munchies. Just... <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is cool zone. I like it. So much vegetation. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> okay, I guess we're in Moreland now, guys. And it's looking pretty cool. Kind of a very big difference. It's no, I didn't like, even notice we changed biomes. Yeah, the bushes abrupt, are a little shorter. Not as abrupt as the rainforest to Heather. Yeah, that was very abrupt. It was like, <laughs> Dad was just making a joke. He's like, this is where we hop in a ranger and just <laughs> drive. <laughs> now nah, we'd be walking, but it's pretty flat today, and it's been it's been a great view. It's been fun. I like I like this stretch of hike. I was honestly a little worried about day three because I watched a lot of YouTube videos before going on this trip and day three is where people really started like struggling. I think it's because of the altitude, but I mean, so far I feel great. We'll see at the end of the day, I'll keep you updated. But this hike hasn't been really ter like not bad at all. It's been pretty good, so not terrible. It's actually like probably one of the easiest we've done so far. <laughs> I hope every day is like this, but I don't think so. <laughs> There's a cave over there. I so wish I could go spelunking. That would be so fun. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't spotted any caves so far, but I think you said on the map there's yeah, on quite the map, a few. There's, there's a few on the way up. That's cool. I think I some like of caves. them are on different routes, so I don't think we'll see all of them. But yeah. yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. I think we're gonna cross another bridge over the water. We found the land of the camp. Karens. <laughs> There's where all the Karens are, guys. <laughs> I've never seen so many before in my life. That's cool. <laughs> Whoa. I <laughs> did not expect to see that. I'm gonna add to the Keeley Karens. What else am I gonna do this in my life? <laughs> wow. Okay, this one is taller than me and Spencer. This is the granddaddy of the Karens. Yeah. I'm a Karen. How do you even say it? Karen? Kern? It's like, instead of two syllables, Karen, it's just Karen. I always call them Karen because it's funnier. <laughs> wow, this is insane. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting close to lunchtime and we're just stopping for a little rest, pictures, and maybe snack. But this view keeps getting better and better. I'm so excited as the days go on to just see how much it changes. Um, I think tomorrow we reach the lava tower, so that's cool. Um, and as we get higher, we're supposed to see more volcanic rock because Mount Kilimanjaro is an active volcano. Well, one of them is. Like, there's three peaks. The highest peak that we're going to is actually an active volcano. So that's a cool fact. Hope it doesn't erupt. <laughs> Hasn't in a, like two million years, a very long time. So, <laughs> but it would be an Avenger for sure. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's been good so far. Loving it. Made it to our lunch stop. We always know what tent is ours, because it looks like a creamsicle. I love our tent so much. So we're gonna see 
what yummy things we have in store for lunch. Lunch yeah, is soup is cream of mushroom. I just I love the soup here. Soup is not gonna be as good at back home. Like this really has changed the game. Oh, French fries. Yeah. Whoa. Just as good. <gasps> wow. Oh, let's show that. Chicken and fries. Oh boy. Yeah, that was we good. are spoiled. Yeah, we are spoiled. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That looks good. Ah, like uh, thank you. Santa, Santa. All right, it started raining again, so I'm gonna put all of my rain gear on. You might not see me till we get to the campsite, because <laughs> I think I'm just gonna put the GoPro in my backpack, even though it is waterproof. But I just like to focus on walking when it's raining. Wow, the hair is really hairing today, guys. <laughs> So, you guys ready? The campground's only like two, less than two hours away, so. Yeah. Pretty short. You got it. Let's go team! <laughs> it stopped raining. It was only actually sprinkling for a little bit, but the clouds are rolling in fast. Wow. And I can definitely say this scenery looks a lot different than it did this morning. Not as much trees, bushes. They're mostly like short little bushes here and there, like some rocks, but like big rocks, but yeah, I feel like it's just white now. It's just yeah. mist everywhere. Whoa, it just came out of nowhere, like literally like two like seconds ago. So moody. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We've made it to camp! And the rocks are so gorgeous. Such a beautiful scenery. Usually I think you would do another short hike after to acclimatize, but not, not today, because it's raining right now if you can't tell. So we just get downtime for the rest of the night. Yeah. Right here. That's yours? That's mine. mine. We're buddies, we're next door neighbors. I know, <laughs> we're up at 4 a.m. <laughs> oh, you see a little waterfall. Yeah, I'm going in, bye. Me too, bye-bye. It's getting more rainy. All right, we're just chilling in our tent before dinner. And I can't believe I haven't explained this already, but if you've never even heard of what Mount Kilimanjaro is, it's one of the top seven highest peaks in the world. So every continent has a mountain with the highest peak in the whole continent. This is Africa's. I've never done like any of the highest peaks ever. This is our first, but honestly so far, it's making me want to do more. Like it's a bucket list adventure. And one of my goals of vlogging this trip is not only just to have these amazing memories to look back on, but to also show you guys that like ordinary people can do this too. You don't need to be a super adventurous, like world-class traveler, fit for it person. I mean, I love like the outdoors, you know, I love a good adventure, I love exploring, but I'm not there out every day of like doing mega hikes or anything like that. And I have asthma too, so. And so far we've been fine. Um, and I th we can make it to the peak. We can do it. I have confidence in us. So if you've ever considered something like this before, but you're just a little bit nervous about that, hopefully this video gives you some confidence that you can do this if that is your bucket list adventure. All right, everyone, I'm saying good night to the vlog. I literally slept that whole downtime. I didn't even think I was that sleepy till I just laid down for a little bit and then I was out. <laughs> um, but we just got back from dinner, which was delicious as usual. And I've got full belly ready for some sleep so that we can get a good head start for tomorrow to the lava tower. So that's exciting. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It is officially day number four, which means we're halfway through until we reach summit day. And that is absolutely insane to me. This morning was a little bit cold to wake up to, not gonna lie. It was the first time I was like, oof, there's a breeze. But when the sun reached over the peak of this, well, when it came over the mountain, it felt so nice. So it also rained quite a bit last night, which was nice because it just kind of like, it was a good white noise to lull you to sleep. And I'm right in front of the waterfall right now, which has been going constantly. It is so beautiful. Also, this over here is not Kibo, which is the peak of Mount Kilimanjaro, the one that we're hiking to. It's a false summit. We have to go like around it and it goes up a little bit more, but it's cool that we can see a little bit of it there, but it does look quite snowy. So I'm a little nervous about that. I think as the days progressively go on, I'm gonna have to put on more and more layers. Anyways, we just had breakfast. We're packing up camp right now. And today is a shorter hike actually to the lava tower. We only have like a four hour hike, but we do 
get quite some elevation, so we're activating poly poly number two mode. So even slower than the previous day. And then we'll spend tomorrow night at the same place. So yeah, I'm excited to see what it looks like up there. Let's start hiking. New biome check. <laughs> We've made it to the Alpine Desert. Could you tell? It's like 99% rocks, 1% vegetation <laughs> i mean the only it's plants that are growing rocks. are literally the ones like hanging onto the rocks honestly it kind of feels like home <laughs> uh, if there was more snow it would be home sippy 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 feeling good uh-huh good guess what time it is time to pull out the raincoat <laughs> it's raining well slightly because we're in the middle of a misty cloud. We've been going through like the misty clouds for quite some time now. It's very moody, <laughs> but it's not pouring yet. And I'm crossing my fingers, it stays just misty light rain. So far so good though. And also I think I forgot to mention this, but we're doing this trip in December of 2023. So we left December 10th and we'll get home December 24th. So if you're wondering about like time frames of when you can go, they have like different times you can go throughout the year, but our trip is in December, which for us in America is winter. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's their summer here. So pretty good. <laughs> I'm glad there's not more snow, <laughs> but we definitely will run into some snow as we get closer to the top. Wow, we could just see it peeking yeah, through the clouds. <laughs> Does that make you feel intimidated? Yeah. <laughs> Vlog section. <laughs> We're just walking along this little rocky trail and then I look up and I'm like, whoa, there it is. <laughs> it's gonna be where we are in four days, guys. That's crazy. Four days. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, the clouds are moving. You can see it even better now. This is not the peak. We're going around this. The peak is even higher. <laughs> Whoa. It's so majestic. Like, it's so white against all this, like, dark rock. It's very contrasting. Ladies and gents, we have made it to the lava tower campsite. Big Dad's getting a photo of Spencer. This is our tent for the night. And as you can see, it's a little misty, but that's the lava tower. And we got here early enough today that we're going to eat lunch and dinner at our campsite. This is so crazy. How are you feeling? Oh, As you wet. can tell, it's still raining. Yeah. <laughs> Little windy. But it's not like, it's like misty wet. It's not like hard. Yeah, it's just we're in a wet. cloud. Yeah. Okay, let's look at these. Okay. I'm gonna go inside and get warm. And then let's go get some lunch. Okay, yeah, I'm feeling that because I can. Uh, Hot chocolate. Yes. Is that this, what I missed? I just woke up from such a good nap. It is so hard for me to not fall asleep between lunch and dinner, which is not a good thing because then I ended up wake, like every night I end up waking up 4 a.m. and I just, like that's when I get up in the morning. I just stay up since 4 a.m. So that might be me again, hopefully not earlier, but I think I might go to the mess tent where everyone else is and read a book before dinner. Anyways, it's just so comfy in here. I just keep falling asleep. Lots and lots of naps. I've taken more naps on this trip than I have ever in my life. We're inside the mess tent where they make dinner. It smells so yummy in here. I'm waiting my night. Yummy, yummy. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. The clouds are finally clearing up and it looks so nice and sunny and beautiful. You can see lava tower clear as day now. Wow. Hi, Paulina. <laughs> Paulina's just getting ready to serve food for dinner and all the staff have been so incredible. Once again, like that was cool to see. I've never been inside the mess tent where they make the food. Hopefully you can see it because it got a little foggy, but they're so fast at cooking and the food is always so delicious. Tomorrow we're actually going to go and climb to a glacier, which will be really cool. And I can't wait. I can't wait to see it. Good morning, it's day five. I literally just rolled out of bed, <laughs> but we have such amazing views this morning. So right here's the lava tower, and then we can see above the clouds. The sunrise was so pretty. I was just reading this morning when I got up, and then I saw it started to get bright. So I was like, let me go out and see what it looks like. And this is our view. Wow. <laughs> yeah, they're below us. I hope they stay that way too, because I'm kind of done with the rain, to be honest. <laughs> wow, your neon shirt pops. 
So we're just out here taking a little nice morning walk before wash up and breakfast. And today we're going to, what's the glacier's name called? Arrowhead Glacier? Arrowhead Glacier for our acclimatization hike. It's like an hour and a half and then we'll come back to this campsite. That's it. That's Kivo. That's the peak. We we're so the close. We're gonna go across, so I think that's our trail there. Oh, that little path down there. <laughs> we got this, we're so close. Day five. Yesterday, this is all muddy. Today it's solid. It's just... Please stay this way. <laughs> Please stay this way. And so it begins. We're on our hike of the day. And I don't remember what I said this morning, but that is definitely not the peak of Kibo. That is not Kibo's peak. <laughs> but feeling pretty good start of the day. Started looking a little cloudy, but it's warm enough. Getting sunny. So that's good. We're just stepping through mushy mushy right now <laughs> since it just rained i'm excited to see how different it looks up there especially since there's gonna be a glacier you get to go up close and see the clouds are moving so fast so we have a small window of time but we started way over there that was our campground if you could see the orange tent look at the mist rolling in oh my gosh it's gonna be Engulfed like two seconds. Ready? Wow! <laughs> you get like no time. <laughs> that is just so crazy. We're taking a little rest break. We're more than halfway there. And one thing that I want to mention is surprisingly, I have not felt sore this trip so far. So I'm very, very grateful for that. Um, I thought I was gonna be very sore by this time, but I think Poli Poli has definitely helped a lot. Um, the only soreness I do feel is at night, like when I'm sleeping and I have to like rotate sides, but hiking, I'm doing good. Now camp, you can't see it. <laughs> camp is gone. We're on our own. We're on our own guys, how are we gonna get back? I hope your homing beacon is good. <laughs> good thing we have Osea to lead us. Caribou. Yes. Yeah, you know, the poly poly is really very helpful. A very, very, yeah, very helpful. So far, everybody is feeling good. And here we are, we are almost 16,000 feet. 16,000? Almost, almost. Yeah. Wow. New record for sure. We're breaking records every day, guys. Our personal records. Snack? Is that your choice? Pistachios? That's just what was on top. Yummy. All right, we're almost there. We're in a little baby rock scramble. Day five in the box. Day five in the box. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Day, five. Day five in the box. We made it! Yes. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Chua! All right, we are back now. If you couldn't tell already, I'm in the tent. <laughs> and uh, we made it to the Aero Glacier campsite, which is where we're actually gonna be sleeping tomorrow. And as you could tell, it's pretty snowy up there. So definitely gonna pack some warm clothes to wear tomorrow. And then the day after that, we summit. Like I literally can't believe we summit in two days. Like how is it only two days away? But we just had some very yummy pizza for lunch and now I think I'm just gonna lay down get warm and read a good book and Just relax until dinner time and pack up for tomorrow's adventure So the hike today was really good. We had some good views. Luckily It didn't really rain on us until after we got back. So so grateful for that um, but we did have the moody misty fog that rolled in and out, which was kind of fun to see. So lots of different landscapes, and I, surprisingly, I'm so grateful for this as well. I haven't felt any altitude sickness yet. I have been taking like medicine for that to prevent it from happening, but luckily I have been able to retain my appetite, and things have been good over here, so all is well. All right, as you can tell, tents are glowing. It is dark, the moon is shining, not sure how much you can see the night sky, but there's the mountains right there. 
It is so beautiful. Whoa, <laughs> this light is so bright. Um, but I'm gonna head to bed and I don't know how much I'm gonna film tomorrow's hiking trek because it's the same exact trail we took today. And we're gonna sleep at that campsite that you guys saw. So that is our last campsite before we summit. I can't believe it's already here. So we're gonna get some good sleep tonight, pack up in the morning, head out. Then I'll give you like a little camp tour. And I'm really hoping we can see the glacier tomorrow because when we got to the campsite today, um, there's just too much mist. We couldn't see the Arrow Glacier sure so hopefully at some point we'll be able to see it up close but anyways good night everyone made yeah. it to camp we did it yeah, you know here we are we are at Arrow Glacier Arrow which Glacier. is 16,000 feet mm -hmm. and tomorrow is the day we are going to climb the mountain oh my goodness that's yeah. so crazy it's already tomorrow yeah wow yeah and I'm happy everybody is doing really very good here we are me too yeah and this girl is here <laughs> She's really doing really very good. Oh, thank and you. she's ready for tomorrow. Yeah! <laughs> Over here we have our water filling station. Thank you. Sante sana. Karibu. 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 And we're getting ready to go on a little acclimatization hike and then spend the rest of the camp here. I think early bedtime tonight since we're doing the summit tomorrow but i'll give you a little tour of our last campground when we come back ready freddy ready freddy We just finished up with our hike and that was actually the Western Breach, which is the same trail we're gonna be taking tomorrow to the summit. We only did a little bit of it today, not all the way, of course. But now it is time for lunch. It's actually quite hot here. I'm surprised. I thought this campsite was gonna be freezing. Maybe at night it'll be cold, but like right now I'm like, when we Ooh. got up here yesterday, I think we just came at a wet time. Yeah. Like cloudy, misty. So right now it is roasting. It's pretty hot, but this is what we have on the table so oh. far. Uh -huh. Everything okay? Everything a okay. Sandwiches of some sort. I don't know what's in them. I think they'll tell us. Ooh, soup. Looks like chicken, chicken noodle, noodle soup. soup. That's what it looks like. Honestly, the soups have been my most favorite part of this trip. Like, I am such a soup girl. I've had soup twice a day, and it's, oh, hits the spot every time. So, after lunch, I'll give you a short tour of our final campsite before summit, and then we gotta lay out everything we're gonna be using tomorrow, which I think we wake up at 3 a.m. So, <sighs> it's gonna be an early morning. All right, camp tour. This is our little abode for the night. We got some other tents surrounding the area. And it was sunny for quite a bit, but the mist is rolling back in. We actually got to the point where it was really hot. We had to take all of our layers off, but coat's back on now. So we got the guy's bathroom over here, ladies right here. I'm so glad our tent is close to the bathroom because I last night I had to go three times. So don't have to step too far, which is nice. Over here, we got the creamsicle tent where we eat breakfast lunch and dinner it's what we call the mess tent you can't tell i'm super out of breath just by talking over here we got the water station hey <laughs> we got the chef's tent which we saw earlier how are you guys Hi. sunday Mambo. sana for the lunch mumbo <laughs> <laughs> They're cleaning up the dishes right now. And then there's just Porter's tents around here too. This is our little campsite for the night. Looks like 
a little snowy tundra over here. So let's go into our tent, lay out everything we're gonna need for, for our morning. I think I'm gonna get dressed into my basic base layers that I'll need. That way, when I get up, I won't have to pack. I'll just be ready to hit the ground rolling. Tomorrow is gonna be our longest hike, but most rewarding one for sure. So here we go. Hey Spencer. Hi. How are you feeling about tomorrow? I'm um, feeling pretty good. You ready for it? I think so. Tomorrow we're summiting and they came in a while ago at our lunch tent to tell us that we basically need to start out wearing like every layer we have tomorrow. Yep. Which is crazy. It's gonna be what, 30, wait, 28 at the top? Yeah. 28 degrees at the top. Not too terrible. So yeah, not the worst, but I just laid out all my clothes, so I'll give you a little tour. All right, so first of all, I have my fleece jacket. I have my waterproof and windproof breaker jacket, my outer shell, and my puffer down jacket, which is so warm and toasty. So between these three, I should be good. I also have my base layers though. So I have a long sleeve base layer, long leggings, and I'm also gonna wear thermals underneath. <laughs> lots and lots of layers. Fresh pair of liner socks, fresh pair of padded thicker socks for hiking boots. I have my hiking thin gloves, but I also have my thick winter gloves. I have my sunglasses, which actually up here, you're gonna need them because the snow is so blinding. It reflects the sun so well. So these have come in handy. I'm gonna bring the hiking helmet, which they provided. Um, there's gonna be a point where we're gonna need to use this. Have my balaclava to protect my whole head and my winter hat. And I've got an outer shell of pants that's protection against wind and water. I'm wearing some fleece leggings right now on top of normal leggings. And I think that's everything. Oh, also yak tracks. We need to ask him for yak tracks to help us with the snow and grippiness. So I think we're ready. Are you ready for this? The I'm day has arrived. It's coming. So I think we're also gonna unpack all of our snacks and share them with the group because we brought so many on this trip. So that will lighten the load too. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is what this whole trip was for. This this very moment. All right, we just read some letters from our family who wrote us some motivating words to continue on our journey, which was so sweet of all of them. So if any family is watching, thank you so much. It has encouraged us to keep going. We can do this. And it was just so nice. Like. Yeah. All the words were just very, very loving and kind and definitely the boost that we need, needed. So let's do it. Let's do it. We got it. The sun is setting. Oh, this is so beautiful. And we have a perfect view of the mountains behind us and the trail that leads us up tomorrow. The campsite is so clear. Isn't that oh amazing? Wow. wow. I have never seen a sunset like this in my life that is spectacular do you dark and early tomorrow morning everyone it's time good morning Doing good? Good. Yeah. <laughs> you can like barely see me because then <laughs> yeah, I know. my head lip. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Sun is peaking a tiny bit. Little break. Dad's getting uh, little skin on. Thank you. Get it go. Woo! Keep trekking. Yeah. Yeehaw. I've done that before. Getting closer to Crater Camp. Look at us go. Look at that view. You can see, what was it, a mountain called? Mount Meru. Mount Meru. Yeah. Peeking out over the horizon in the clouds. Woohoo! It's our journey. Wow, that's just amazing. Such good view. The sun is out and shining. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's been fun. Honestly, this has been one of my more favorite days so far. I've liked it. This is adventure. This is adventure. Yeah. <laughs> Say hello. Uh -huh. Hi. <laughs> wow, we've come we up far away. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Woo, 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 woo. Up on belly, up on belly. Oh. Hey, take it away. Oh. Oh. Big rock.
Rickery, Rickaroo. Your dad's got his zoomies. Rickery. At what, what elevation are we at? 18,000. 18,000. We just took a little snack break and we have that much more to go. It's about 500 feet. Before we get Crater lunch. That, yeah, that's not the peak, y'all. That's not the, but. But it's doable. It's doable. It's gonna happen. Compared to what we've <laughs> done so far. Also, look what's rolling in slowly but surely. The mist. The mist that has been following us this whole trip. <laughs> <laughs> it just loves us. <laughs> also, mom, she's gonna freak out watching this footage because I can never see her do this. <laughs> so the good thing here is these guys have got a fantastic process. They really they've do. Got, they've got guides all around us. So if anybody slips, they've got backups and they'll catch you if that happened. But luckily they showed us exactly where to step. Yeah. They cut out all the spots. They've been chiseling I felt with totally ice safe. Pick. They've been holding our bags, which has been so nice. I don't have to carry anything. Wait a second. <laughs> Me, Jordan, Spencer get special treatment, I guess. <laughs> yeah, they've been holding our bags. They've been giving us snacks, and it's just been so great. Like, I feel totally safe. So, I also feel like I'm in an airplane because, like, this view. Wow, crazy. I'm excited to see what it looks like at the very top because if it's this good right now, what's it gonna look like all the way up there? I don't know. Well, let's keep going. Woo, that's the top of Kibo right there. The summit. So close. Uh -huh. Ah, yes. We're almost summit. there. Wow. We can do it. We yes. can do it. We're going to go see a glacier up close. They're saying many years ago, this glacier used to be huge, but now it's shrinking, which is sad. But they're going to let us go touch it. Glacier, woo. Can we touch the glacier? Touch the glacier. Touching the glacier? Yeah. Feels like ice. <laughs> cold ice. Cold, cold glacier ice. Bye, glacier. They said the Western Breach is the hardest part. Say hi. You, say hi. Oh, you're filming me? Hi. <laughs> Low and slow. Poly poly. Oh boy. Almost there. Almost there. Woo! -woo. <laughs> we got this. So got close. It. We got it. Yep, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, whoa. So close. So close. I can see it. Yeah. Woo -woo. Just a few more steps across the rim and to the peak. Uh -huh. <laughs> you have a breath. <laughs> Wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yay. Yay! Mostly flat now. Yeah. Yay! The mist came to greet us. There's our end goal. So close. Thanks for getting us this far. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! Woo -ha. Woo -ha. And that right there is the ash pit where the volcano yeah, is we'll that formed this mountain. And over there is the largest glacier. So cool. How you guys feeling? Yeah. We're almost there. Woo so exciting. Woo -woo! Let's do it. Okay. And just like that, we made it. We made it to the peak. Let's get a group pick. 19,300 feet in elevation. Wow. Will you record our picture? Uh -huh, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Come on guys, let's take a picture. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. We made it back and we are at Camp Barafu. This is what it's looking like. So we started this expedition at 4 a.m. and we just got back around five. Oh my, I have never been so tired in my life. I definitely have pushed my body to a limit it's never reached before, which has been very difficult, but at the same time, so, so rewarding. That was just so worth it. And I'm so glad I got to experience that. It was literally life changing, so. <sighs> I'm just trying to catch my breath. We just got back. We're gonna have dinner in 30 minutes. And something I said to myself 
was I promised I was gonna film coming down off the mountain because no one really shows what that's like. And now I know why. <laughs> well, at first, like when you start going down, it's pretty like level. And for the most part, it's, it's nothing like going up. Um, it's very gradual decline, but no more pole to pole. You're going pretty fast. And so I just don't want to lose my balance and I just want to keep a steady pace because it was a three hour descent. For us, I think it was about four for dad and I. I didn't show any of it, but I think dad did vlog a little bit of going down. So if you want to go check out his channel, you can go see his point of view. But we have like two more days to come down off this mountain. So I'll, I'll film some footage of that going down. But yeah, going off that mountain, a lot easier than going up, but just gradual decline at a faster pace. So I'm going to chill in this tent. It has never felt so good to sit down in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and I will see you later. Good morning, everyone. It is day eight. I was able to see the sunrise this morning for a little bit, which is so beautiful. Literally the sunrises and sunsets here have been phenomenal. And I'm definitely gonna miss them when I'm gone. Wow, I did not realize how out of breath I'm already am <laughs> um but i just packed everything up today we're gonna go down to the heather zone just right outside of the rainforest so literally almost right back where we started and then and that's where we camp for the night so it's about like a three to four hour downhill climb from there i'm not gonna lie last night was rough i was feeling so sore from yesterday it was so hard to sleep but as i'm moving it is getting easier so that's good um but yeah i just can't believe we summited yesterday that is still crazy to me i'm so proud of everyone on this trip and literally could not have done it without the porters they have been so positive and so happy when they have like every reason to be grouchy like i feel like i would be grouchy but their positivity definitely like spreads it influences us and motivates us to keep going so they've been the best but anyways we're gonna go get breakfast and go into the mist that's already coming <laughs> oh my love that mist um and yeah I'll, I'll try to film some downhill clips today so you can see what it looks like all right starting on our way down let's do it four hours to go <laughs> four hours we got it after a 13 hour yesterday this is gonna feel like piece of cake piece of candy piece of candy so right now what um, biome are we in are we in the alpine desert yeah, yeah. alpine desert so we're gonna go through two more biomes moorland and then heather okay rainy rainy we're in the moorland now you can see with all the foliage and the bushes got our ponchos on how's the group good good we're cruising we're cruising today's downhill thousand times easier so much better good pace i like it okay we made it to high camp, high camp. we're not staying here for tonight but it's a little marker mm -hmm. we have two more hours left We made it last camp before the gate. A week of camp. Woo, thanks for leading yeah, us yeah, today. Yeah. You did so good. Oh, welcome. We are here. I'm ready for lunch. Uh -huh. Let's go. Let's go. The rain is crazy right now. <sighs> rainy, rainy. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's just coming down. Thank you. Punchos. Last night sleeping in our tent. It's a little while later, the rain has subsided. Just got ready for bed and it's crazy that this is our very last night. Like, wow. I can't believe like this week has flown by so fast and tomorrow we are gonna do some more hiking through the rainforest. I think that's gonna be another like four-ish hours. Um, but then we have a ceremony at the end where they're gonna present like a certificate that we have summited Mount Kilimanjaro. So um, I'll just cut to that footage. But for now, good night, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow.
Sasha Sema, Sema, Siogope, Sema, Yoria Chana, Chana, Siogope, Chana, Chana, Siogope, Chana, Osea Chesa, Chesa, Siogope, Chesa, Osea Chesa, Chesa, Siogope, Chesa, 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 Chesa
are more difficult. Maybe not because of hiking, but because of altitude, because you do the trip in less time. So you're taking on more like altitude gains all at once. Mm. But I'm just saying, they got lots of offerings. They're a great company. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so definitely check them out. Um, but I think that's where we're gonna end this here. This is a little bit of a movie. <laughs> it was a little bit of a longer video, but yeah. I mean, it was a full like adventure, so. We hope you guys enjoyed the it. Most adventurous thing I've ever done. <laughs> yeah, for That's, sure. Yeah. One of the most adventurous things I've done too. So, anyways, we love you guys so very much. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.